Keo here from Stomvi USA. That was Javier Gonzalez on his Titan four valve edition B flat trumpet. More from Javier in a minute. We're here to talk about a little bit about music industry and a lot about Stomvi trumpets. Stomvi was founded in 1984 in Spain by Vicente Honorato. And the plan has never been to copy anybody. The plan has always been to have our own sound. In Spanish, they call it un otro camino, which means another road. All of our trumpets from our most affordable forte through our four valve edition B flats are extremely easy to play, lots of clarity, incredible intonation, and big full resonant sounds. So Javier decided to come out with us today. He's, uh, as I mentioned, freelance trumpet player and first trumpet on Dancing with the Stars. And Javier and I have been friends for, geez, 20 years, yeah, huh? Yeah. So Javier, just to get everyone to understand, tell them one of your demands. Let's say Dancing with the Stars. Mm -hmm. That's a long, rough gig. Yes, it is. What the demands are like and why that would make you choose Stombi. For Dancing with the Stars, we start at 5 a.m. And we don't go live till 5 p.m. So during that time, we're just rehearsing with the dancers and getting camera spots and lighting. Uh, so throughout the whole day, we're actually recording all this music because if one of the dancers or performers get injured, that rehearsal now becomes the performance. So we're always recording, the red light's always on, so we have to make sure we sound our best every single time. You know, that's, that's a typical day. And when you say recording all the time, you're talking about being on camera as well. Yes, we're on you're camera. You're on camera, mm -hmm. and so you've got to be spot on from the first note, and then 12 hours later, you tape it on live TV. Yes, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's quite a difficult job. Definitely. And so tell us how playing Stomvi gear helps you with that. Let's see, I've been playing Stomvi now since like 2008 probably. And uh, the reason I got that horn was because it was just easier from what I was already using. Uh, one of the biggest things is for me is the bell material is like just the overtone series It makes my job easy because I don't have to play loud in order to hear myself So I started using that For a while but then when the show came up uh, In that show I'm playing commercial lead jazz trumpet funk orchestral classical small group chamber jazz pop music in from song to song in every episode so you I wouldn't want to have four different kinds of trumpets up there, B flat, to do any of those styles. So I wanted one horn that could hopefully do all of them. And for me, the Stomvi made it all happen in one instrument. Right. So let's talk a little bit about the horn. So your horn of choice these days is the four valve edition mm -hmm. Titan. Tell us, you know, what I can tell you from the manufacturer side is that the uh, the four valve B flat trumpet is like a, a piccolo but in the B flat trumpet key. So the fourth valve drops at a fourth. And the most important part about this horn is the sound. Like a Bosendorfer extended key piano or something, even if you're just playing in the middle register of that piano, you get a lot more sound, a lot more harmonics because the extra strings are vibrating sympathetically. You get overtones and stuff. The four valve is a little bit different mechanism, but the same thing happens. Mm -hmm. So you get this incredible sound, plus you get this extended range. Now, Javier, you've always had a good range, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to venture from when mm -hmm. you were young. But has, it, um, has the Stomvi gear helped you in that, in that part as well? I'd say yes, 100%, because I went from trying to make these notes in the extreme register happen to now having an instrument that sort of naturally resonated up there, I guess, I would, I would say. So I got to the point where I wasn't just trying to aim for these notes. Like I have a reference now where I can actually, the notes in my sort of the way I feel it now exist in that range. So now I'm just practicing how to really control it and not just aim for them, you know, at least in, in the way I feel it. Yeah. Interesting. And in preparation for this, uh, what, three days before we came out here, right. I handed you these three other instruments Correct. that you don't normally play, mm -hmm. uh, an Elite, an S3, and a Forte. And uh, tell me what you thought about the Forte, which is our most inexpensive, our least expensive bang for the buck instrument aimed at intermediate players. Mm -hmm. But what was your opinion? Honestly, uh, using the four valve all this time, I have a certain response I get from the initial attack of the instrument when I play it, I was feeling that same response out of this intermediate entry level inexpensive instrument. So the fact that I'm getting the, the same response out of this instrument, the, the intermediate to a high level professional one, I mean, I don't, I've never tried any other 
intermediate beginner trumpet that has that response. So this thing, for me, is not an intermediate, it's a professional instrument at a lower price. <laughs> and what you found about the Elite 250 and the S3? Mm -hmm. Well, the Elite, it's really, if I were to choose to use that one, I would probably use that in a more orchestral sort of small group setting. Uh, it's it's it, obviously you can definitely play lead on it, but it's 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 a darker, more rounder sound, and the S3 is definitely a sort of it. It's a, it's a lead horn for me, a commercial horn. You want you're gonna play pop, funk, jazz, big band stuff, and you want that sizzle. This is the horn, the the S3. I mean, the Elite can sizzle, but it takes much more effort than the S3 does, and so I would definitely the S3 is a sort of commercial lead horn that's kind of like a. I say it's like a, a commercial horn is going to be a traditional sort of orchestral horn. And so the philosophy at Stomvi has always been to have our own sound, easier to play, clarity of attack. Oh, by the way, Javier, you know, sometimes people mm -hmm. listen to the horns and the clarity, they say they, they kind of mistake it for brightness. Mm -hmm. Do Could you have a take on that? I wouldn't, I wouldn't say, for me, clarity is not about brightness. For me, clarity is just hearing the sound, whether you're playing your loudest or your softest, you're always hearing the core sound and not it being in your face and uncomfortable. It's just whatever it's loud or soft, it's just clear in every type of setting for me. Yeah. And does that clarity help you with articulation, for example? Oh, definitely. I, it's it's the, the, the fact that I have to use less force to get the same articulation I would in any other horn. I use less force on these horns. It's like, it's just the clarity. It's just, I'm, I don't have to worry about attack. I just just go for the sound that I'm looking for. Nice. Well, thank you for being a friend. Oh, <laughs> I and appreciate for playing it. Gear. My pleasure. <laughs> thanks again to Javier Gonzalez for coming out and having some fun today. And thanks to Sweetwater for carrying the Stombi instruments. If you have any questions about any of our instruments, whether it's our entry-level Forte or our most advanced revolutionary four-valve B-flat, please call your Sweetwater sales engineer or visit sweetwater.com.